It's official. This year's entry list for the 24 Hours of Le Mans has been revealed. The Circuit de la Sarthe will play host to the 92nd edition of this classic French event, with 62 cars taking to the track across three classes of endurance racing. In this video, I will talk all about this incredible entry list for this historic event in 2024. Le Mans 2024 is set to be spectacular. There's a new GT era coming to the WEC in the form of LMGT3, new hypercars on the grid, which means that the grid size in the flagship category is the most we've ever seen at Le Mans since 1999 when the glory days of GT1 were in frame. The fact is, this year's Le Mans is set to be amazing. And with the entry list now revealed, we now know the 62 cars that are planned to race in this year's Le Mans. There's actually even a reserve list. That's how many cars have been entered to compete in this event. I'll talk about that list in just a moment. I'll start things off with the flagship category for the World Endurance Championship, the Hypercar class. Hypercar will see at least 23 cars out on track. That is a record for this category, as last year 16 cars were out on track. So this entry list reveals that Chip Ganassi Racing will be returning with both of their Cadillac V-Series Rs. The number 2 and number 3 will be on track once again. Porsche Penske Motorsport also returns to Le Mans this year as they look to challenge for overall victory. And out of all the hypercar teams, this team has the most entries. Now, you may have noticed that in addition to the two full season entries, Porsche Penske Motorsport actually has a third 963. Now, this third Porsche is actually the rebadged number 75 car, which raced last year. This is badged as the number four car this year. Since Van Wall and their Van der Waal 680 won't be returning to Le Mans this year, Porsche Penske Motorsport can badge their third 963 with the number four this year. In 2024, Toyota will be looking to take the crown back from Ferrari, who took victory last year. The Japanese Mark is returning with the number 7 and number 8 entries. Toyota is making a few changes this year, including an updated anti-roll bar and altered headlights to improve visibility. Toyota's GR010 will also feature a brand new livery in the form of a matte black color scheme. There will also be a change to the driver lineup as Dutch racer Nick de Vries will be joining the number 7 crew. As confirmed late last year, Isoto Fraschini will be racing at Le Mans. Like the rest of their competition in the WEC this year, Isoto Fraschini's number 11 Tipo 6 LMHC will be run by Duquesne. Also on this list is the number 12 Hertz Team Jota entry. This is one of two Porsche 963s featured by the British squad. At Le Mans this year, two BMW M Hybrid V8s will be on track this year. These are the same cars that are run by Team WRT across the rest of the WEC. Now, one of the entries in this Hypercar Part 2 section that will compete at Le Mans this year that's not a part of the WEC full season list is the number 19 Lamborghini from Iron Lynx. This is actually the IMSA entry that competes over in the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship over in North America. Now, this entry will also feature the IMSA drivers, such as Andrea Caldarelli, Roman Grosjean, and Matteo Cairelli. Also featured on this list are the two Alpine A424s. Now, there won't be any change when it comes to the 35 or 36 compared to the regular full season of the WEC, although Alpine will be looking to challenge for overall victory with both of these cars at Le Mans. Next is the second Porsche 963 from Hertz Team Jota. This is the number 38 car. And out of all the Porsche customer entries, this is the only car to have raced at Le Mans before. This is also the same Porsche that the 2009 Formula One World Champion Jensen Button will be driving. At this year's Le Mans, Ferrari AF Corsa is looking to defend their Le Mans victory that they achieved in 2023. Both the number 50 and number 51 cars will be returning but Ferrari will actually be adding on a third 499P. 
This is a customer entry badged as the number 83 car. This Ferrari customer entry will also feature some very skilled drivers, including Robert Kubica, Robert Schwartzman, and Yifi Yi. There's also a second SC63, as Iron Lynx will not just bring one, but two Lamborghinis to Le Mans. This number 63 car is also the full season hypercar entry. The entry list also confirms the return of Peugeot. The number 93 and number 94 9x8 hypercars will be seen with some upgrades, such as a rear wing. The sixth Porsche 963 on the grid is from Proton Competition, as the German team makes their Le Mans debut in the hypercar class. The number 99 hypercar will be featured on the grid, but it might not be the only Proton Porsche at Le Mans this year. I'll get into that subject towards the end of this video. And last but not least in hypercar, the number 311 Wheeling Engineering Cadillac from Action Express Racing will be on the grid. This is because they got an invitation from winning the 2023 IMSA GTP Championship. So far, Pipo Dorani and Jack Aiken have been named as two drivers for this third Cadillac V-Series R. Moving on from the hypercar list, and even though the LMP2 cars will not be present in this year's WEC, we will be seeing them at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. 16 LMP2 cars will be out on track, and they will all be using the Oreca 07 chassis. The list of LMP2 cars this year features the number 9 Proton Competition, the number 10 Vector Sport, the number 14 AO Racing entry by TF Sport. United Autosports is also making a return to LMP2 alongside their LMGT3 effort. One of the entries is also from the US branch of United Autosports. The list also features the number 24 Nielsen Racing LMP2, the number 25 Algarve Pro Racing entry, the number 28 IDEX Sport LMP2, this is actually the same team that took pole position in this class last year. Duquesne is fielding an LMP2 entry alongside their participation in Hypercar with Isota Fraschini. Then there's the number 33 DKR LMP2, and Inter Europol is back at Le Mans. This is the same team that took a surprising win in this class at the last year's event. Oh, and by the way, if two entries pull out before the start of Le Mans, Inter Europol might have a second LMP2 car out on track, but more on that later on. Alongside United Autosports and potentially Inter Europol, Cool Racing also have two entries in the LMP2 class this year. CrowdStrike Racing by APR is also making an appearance with the number 45 car as they received an invitation for Le Mans. Panis Racing also makes an appearance with the number 65 car. And finally in LMP2 is the number 183 AF Corsa car. All right, enough of LMP2. Let's talk about the exciting entry list for the LMGT3 class. This category is expected to show off some incredible racing across the entire event of the 24 Hours of Le Mans, and we will have around 23 cars participating. This list begins with Heart of Racing's number 27 Aston Martin Vantage GT3. Then there's the two BMW M4 GT3s from Team WRT. The Belgian squad will actually be running these entries alongside their hypercar participation with the BMW M Hybrid V8s. And also, quick note here, one of the drivers that is a part of this lineup is MotoGP champion Valentino Rossi, aka The Doctor. Rossi will be making his Le Mans debut with WRT driving in this LMGT3 category. Also on this list, is the first of three Ford Mustangs from Proton Competition in the LMGT3 class. Ford is making their return to Le Mans for the first time since 2019. Next up are the two Vista AF Corsa Ferraris, the number 54 and number 55. These are actually the only 296 GT3s that are participating across the full season of the WEC. Next is the number 59 United Autosports McLaren, this is the first of three 720S GT3 Evos in LMGT3 this year. Deliveries on the United Autosports McLarens are actually an homage to the 1995 victory for the British manufacturer at this very event overall. 
Next up, we have the number 66 Iron Lynx Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo, followed by the number 66 JMW Ferrari, and the number 70 Inception Racing McLaren. Even though Inception Racing aren't a part of the full season grid of the WEC, you might already recognize them from their participation in the GTD class of IMSA. Also on this list is a second Proton competition Ford Mustang GT3, this is the number 77 car, and the first of the Lexus RCF GT3s from a CODIS ASP. Lexus is actually making their debut at the 24 Hours of Le Mans this year, and hopefully they'll be able to challenge for the victory in the LMGT3 class. Next up is the two Corvette Z06 GT3Rs from TF Sport, and by the way, awesome livery from the British squad. Hopefully they'll be challenging for a good result at Le Mans. Iron Dames will also make an appearance at Le Mans, but this time they won't be running a Porsche as they did last year. They will actually be running one of the two Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evos. GR Racing also returns to Le Mans, but like Iron Dames, they aren't running a Porsche like they did last year. This time, GR Racing will be running a Ferrari 296 GT3. Following GR Racing is the number 87 Akotas ASP entry. This is the second Lexus. Then there's the number 88 Ford. This is the third Ford from Proton Competition. This entry list also displays the number 91 and number 92 full season Porsche 911 GT3 Rs. The 2024 Bathurst 12 hour race winners Manti Racing will be running both entries. Also on this list is the second United Autosports run McLaren. This is the number 95 entry, which is a reference to the year McLaren won Le Mans. Finally, to conclude this entry list for LMGT3 are the number 155 Spirit of Racing Ferrari and the 777 D-Station Racing Aston Martin. As I mentioned earlier, there is a reserve list. Seven cars have signed up to compete at Le Mans, but they will only be granted access if more cars drop out before the start. The entry I'm most interested in on this list is that number 78 hypercar. It's true that if an entry backs out of Le Mans, we could technically see seven Porsche 963s out on track. This is Proton Competition's second car that could potentially make it onto the grid. And the good news for Proton Competition is that this reserve list is ranked in order. So that means if an entry backs out last minute for Le Mans, this Proton Porsche will be on the grid. And if that happens, that means 24 hypercars will be present for the 2024 edition of this event. So that was the official entry list for the 92nd edition of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Are you excited for this event? And which entry will you be rooting for? Well, as always, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, I suggest subscribing as I make endurance racing content every week. You can also watch another video right now by clicking the options on your screen. So for now, that's it from me. I'll see you all in the next video.